How's it going guys? My name is Marty. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I wanted to break down my favorite technique on the electric guitar and that is down picking. What is down picking you might ask? The great thing about down picking is it's in the name. It's, it's as literal as that. The idea is you're playing mainly or mostly with down strokes or down picking. What that looks like is if we're doing it on the low E string, you pick down and through like that there. You will have to reset your picking hand. So when you pick down and through the string, your hand comes up slightly and then comes back to the string that you intend to pick down and through. So it's kind of like an oval shape, like, like this. So you have to reset your picking hand every time. Why would that be different from the likes of alternate picking, you might ask? With alternate picking, you don't have to reset your hand position. With down strokes, you do. You pick down and through. In this case, I'm very much exaggerating to make it very obvious. That's kind of the motion that's uh, happening but obviously when you're playing fast you know those movements are a little are, they're much smaller uh, but that's the general gist of it so you are picking down through the string and then you have to reset your picking hand whereas alternate picking you can sort of stay in that area you know it's an economy of movement uh, you're exerting less energy because you're moving less so you might ask why you would choose to do down picking. One of the most popular reasons that people choose to down pick is usually how it sounds. So because you are using very consistent, repetitive motions, each hit sounds the same essentially. So it's very consistent, very aggressive, very mean sounding, especially with distortion. Um, palm yutes. Very unrelenting and aggressive and that's perfect for those genres of music. Another reason is because it feels cool. It feels like you can really dig into the guitar. Yeah, just it feels great to play like that. Another reason I think that doesn't get talked about quite as much is I think when you start as a beginner, it makes a lot more sense than alternate picking. You know, it's uh, less to think about if you're only... versus you know uh, as a, be a beginner you're trying to not hit unwanted strings constantly and i think it's maybe easier to do that with uh, alternate picking until until you've got that technique developed another reason i feel that people don't really talk about quite as much is sometimes there's certain riffs it just doesn't make sense to alternate pick like it makes it more difficult so for example the spider riff in uh, master puppets is quite awkward to do with alternate picking, I feel, even at a slow tempo. I feel like I really have to think about what I'm doing there and it sort of messes with the palm muting. Uh, for the down picking, it just it makes a lot more sense. So those are some reasons why you would choose the down pick. I also wanted to talk about some misconceptions about the technique. I mentioned earlier that it's quite a literal technique in terms of the name uh, is very much what the technique is about. But uh, there are some misconceptions with that. So I've heard beginner guitar players and you know more advanced guitar players make the same statements of the likes of James Hatfield or Kirk Hammett not being able to alternate pick. Uh, you know, some people assume that the guys that are known for dime picking they assume that's all they do it's just not how it works really so uh when you're new to the technique it'd be quite easy to you know think that to be honest yeah i think i was the the exact same when i first started out on guitar there are different techniques that these guys implement uh to allow them to play faster or you know you know change the sound of things there's a lot of reasons why you would choose to do it but it's not the case it's it's more there are certain risks that lend themselves to being dime picked and sometimes the, the tempo is, you know, right up north of 200 and that's, you know, really high caliber, really high caliber playing at that point. Uh, but it gets to the point where the, the fate of the song's different, so they need more notes or the tempo's higher. Uh, and it means that down picking isn't the, the chosen technique. So they might move to alternate picking or they might move to gallops again. Could be for the speed, could be for the stylistic choice in the song. 
But uh, I think as you progress as a player and as you as you learn more about this technique, you start to look out for things like that there, and you're able to uh, you're able to dissect a song and work out if someone's down picking something or if they're alternate picking it. I'll, I'll give you an example of a riff that actually changes from one end to the other. So 72 Seasons of Metallica's most recent album. Uh, the title track 72 Seasons has a great example of this where the main riff goes from being a fast, thrashy alternate pick riff into a slightly slower down picked version of it. The intensity changes and the sound changes. That makes more sense as to why you might choose to do alternate picking or why you might choose to do down picking. So here we go. So with that riff, you can hear the difference. You can see the difference, actually. It goes from a, a higher energy, thrashy, alternate pick version of the riff into a slower groove-based down pick riff. But it, with that comes this sort of different type of intensity and different type of aggression because it's got those sort of meaty down picks. It's a great technique to get your teeth into. I highly recommend developing it if you are into your rock and metal playing. I'm gonna try and do some more videos on this here where I talk about, you know, building endurance, building speed, and, you know, try and help out with that side of things because it's, it's a technique that I have fallen in love with. So if you have any questions, let me know down below. I love this technique and there's just not a whole lot of information on YouTube about it. So um, if I can help, I can help. Thanks for watching. Click like if you like the video, subscribe if you want to see more. I've got loads of covers up in the channel. I did this whole thing where I wanted to cover 72 seasons, the whole album within a year of the album coming out. It took me, it took me a year, <laughs> but uh, I just about got it done. Uh, but I also want to do some other band covers and things like that there. So uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.